Hey guys, guess who's back? Back again with a new video. Um, it's a continuation of the Percy Tau series on New Soccer Star, and we are starting off the series. We are starting off this episode with nine games under our belt, twenty-four goals and th and five assists. That is insane. Nine games, 24 goals. Where are you going to see that? So we get into the first game against Heil P. As we know, it's Stellenbosch that the team at Percy Tau is playing for. Just going to skill these players. And then snapshot. Oh, nice save from the goalie. Um... Is Percy Tower having a stinker this game? He's chopped it over. And it's an assist from Percy Tau. It's beautifully crossed in from Percy Tau. He's going to send it off to the far post again. Another assist from Percy Tau. He's just racking up the assists. That's seven for the season so far. And that passes even further than the pass before. Percy Tau is actually just different source. He is the GOAT. Both IRL and in this game, he is the GOAT. He scored. Another goal. How is he doing it? Don't, I don't even know. How does Percy Tau keep slapping in goals, putting in assists? He puts in a shift every game. He fights for the badge. Doesn't matter which league he plays in. He's gonna, he scored from there. Basically 27 yards out. Man has taken a shot from there. And now he has two goals and two assists in that game. A 10.0 rating as usual. And now his team is on nine wins and one draw. Percy Tau is having immense... Oh, and it's... We get the boots and we are going to play in these boots in the next game. A dilemma comes up. I pick my team over the fans. I love the fans, but my team is more important, I think, at least. At least in my opinion, the team is more important than the fans, but the boss is more important than the team. Because if I don't have a good connection with my boss, I won't play. Starting off this game, still no no. Oh no, Bloom. Bloom's actually leading now. Uh, Percy Tau showing off some incredible doubling. That's an awful, awful shot. That was just dreadful. What is happening to Percy Tau in this game? Is he fumbling in a big situation? He's tried to get into the middle of the box for the attacker, but the attacker has not gotten to it. And he's missed the poles. What's happening to Percy Tau in this game? He's having a stinker. And Percy Tau shoots it over the ball. What's happening? Percy Tau has had his first stinker of the season. And Stellenbosch gets absolutely ripped to shreds by Bloemfontein Celtic. They get... No, that, that was an awful game from Percy Tau. He should have performed a lot better. I don't know what happened in that game. But he hopefully he bounces back really soon. He's just going to go for the pass here. Easy pass. And it's a goal. It's an assist for Percy Tau. He's actually becoming more of an assist merchant than a goal merchant in these uh, last few games. And that ball goes over the top of the bar. His teammate really should have gotten to the ball there, but he just his teammates are just sometimes they are just very lazy. And Percy Tau could be in here. And it's, it proves that Percy Tau, if Percy Tau is a bad game, he's always going to bounce back. 
no matter what, no matter all the slander he gets from the um, from the news, from the reporters, from the paper, everything, he's still going to bounce back no matter what. No one can stop this man except for Bloomfield and Celtic. And soon, I'm pretty sure we're going to stand in Bosch v Bloemfontein Celtic and I think Bloom Celtic is going to lose. I think Percy Tau is going to show them what is source. And it's a beautiful goal from Percy Tau. He, he celebrates like a, a Vin Vinicius celebration but he's he might score a hat trick in this game. It's a his comeback game, and it's a goal. It's seven one for Stellenbosch. They are actually he's different gravy. Three goals and one assist. He scored a hat trick and got an assist in this game. After having after putting up that stinker last game, he had to come back, and he's just come back in the best way possible. How's he done it? I don't even know. What is on with this man? This young man is just a different set. He's just, he's just got the cojones. Well, it's, he's versing Milano now. And is this going to be another game where he bags at least a goal and an assist? I, I really do hope so. He scores. So at least he bags a goal in this game. That is the least he can do in this game. Bag a goal. And he's just... He just cuts through the defense like a knife through butter. I swear. It's a shot. It's two goals. Milano cannot contain this man. Percy Tau is not even a man yet. He's a child. Percy Tau is not even a legal adult. And he's already ripping up the league. He, okay, not not the best shot, but we let it slide because he still has two goals this game. And he is going to smack the shot from just outside the box. Oh, good shot, but the goalkeeper was there. Another chance at the hat trick. Shot, it's the ball. He's hit the upright, and it's not gone in. That was, oh, he could have gotten the hat-trick in that game, but he's left disappointed with his tail tied between his legs. And obviously I'm picking the team in that situation because I need my team to pass me, to, I need the team to pass Percy Tower the ball so that he can get more and more goal contributions. And if they don't pass him the ball, how is he going to get goal contributions? We lose position, but Postal regains position and takes the shot just, just wide. I'm getting a bit annoyed at the scoreline now. Yes, it's still early in the game, but he's just... He's so good that he deserves a goal. Like I was just trying to say now, he deserves a goal. He is Percy Tao, by the way. He is the best young player, possibly the best young player in the world at the moment. Look how he's tearing up the South African second division. No one, no team, absolutely no team can control this man. He's hit the ball. That's so, uh, so, so, so unlucky. Uh, uh, what's the goalkeeper doing in that situation? I don't even know. The goalkeepers had to watch the ball come past him. All he had to do was stick out a hand and he saved that. The goalkeeper is just completely useless in these, in these situations where Persitao shoots. And I think this is the last, ga this is the last uh, game of the episode. So I am pretty sure... That's the end of the episode and um, goodbye everyone. I hope you guys have an amazing day and don't forget to smack that like button, subscribe, hit the post notification bell for more. 
and tell me in the comments what do you want me to play next and if tell me if you want this series to continue but no matter what you say i'm still continuing the series because i love playing the game and goodbye everyone peace